What's up you guys, Sasha Boss here, and today is another Star Wars Black Series review, and this is Sasha Banks, aka as Casca Reeves, and this is from The Mandalorian. Okay, what's up you guys, Sasha Boss here, and uh, like I said, today I'm doing another Black Series review, and today is all about Casca Reeves, aka the legit boss. A.K.A. Sasha Banks, uh, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, one of my favorite female wrestlers. She had so many great matches. Um, gotta say, my favorite match is her in Hell in a Cell with Charlotte Flair, uh, where she came coming back from a really serious injury, but she came back and won the championship, something like that. But it was a great match, and also the one with Bailey was really good too. Okay, with that being said, let's take a closer look at the Star Wars The Black Series packaging of Costco. So right here, you guys, you got a beautiful tray shot of uh, Costco Reeves. Mine's a little bit damaged because I got mine off of Amazon. Uh, like, you know, you gotta be careful where you buy your figures from. I prefer Dork Side or Big Bad Toy Store or Hasbro Pulse. Um, so Star Wars The Black Series, so Star Wars The Mandalorian. This is Costco Reeves. I do like Amazon for certain things, but figures are awesome on Amazon. Uh, so right here, it has a beautiful shot of Costco Reeves, a little tray shot right here, looking really cool. Uh, love that character. Costco Reeves is a really unique character in the Black Series line. On this side, I got some nice orange right here. It says Costco Reeves. Um, it says uh, Black Series Hasbro uh, legalese and warnings, from ages four and up. Now on this side, I got a beautiful shot of Costco Reeves. I love the artwork here on this figure. It's the Black Series. And it says, Costco Reeves, the legit boss. Yeah, no jokes attended. I'm sorry. <laughs> no jokes attended. You know I'm a wrestling fan. It says Costco Reeves. Uh, it says, a master of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Costco Reeves is a loyal to bo and the member of the of the band of, Col of the clan Kanese uh, Mandalorian striking back at the Imperial, the Imperial Regiment. That's interesting, the Cl Clan of Kyries, I never heard about that before, those Mandalorians. You know about Death Watch, but I never heard about that uh, specific clan. So maybe they write a comic or a book uh, dedicated on Costco's life. I kinda, I kinda wanna know like if she's training with bo or how they actually met. We actually never got that from the Mandalorian. Uh, this shows, this is actually from Mandalorian season two, uh, this figure. Uh, with, that, with that being said, let's crack this thing open and I'll show you. Um, this figure, it, what this figure is all about. Right Alright guys, now. this is what the actual duel tray looks like. Really cool, just a great piece of cardboard. Yeah. Okay, here comes the moment of truth. <laughs> okay guys, this is what Sasha Banks looks like. In the bubble. Oh, Costco Reeves in the bubble. I know, so hard to say Sasha Banks, this is the actress who played her, aka Mercedes, if you know her, um, her government name, like we're in a Becky Lynch. But yeah, this is what uh, Costco Reeves looks like in the bubble. So take her out, and I'll show you guys what she looks like. Here's what Costco Reeves looks like outside the packaging. I just removed her helmet. She comes with the helmet on the figure. Okay, guys, uh, before we look at Sasha Banks, let's take a look at some of her accessories. Uh, that she comes with. Um, she actually comes with some of the same blasters as uh, as Bogotan. Uh, Bogotan's is actually I have it right here. Is uh, move her hand. It's actually the same blaster that comes with Bogotan. Uh, it's a nice little gunmetal silver. Uh, it looks really nice. That doesn't the brown. I love this little gun. These pistols look really sick. I love when characters have dual wielded pistols or any blasters. I mean, dual like dual pistols or dual guns, like any small gun, like any small handgun or blasters, like my cup of tea. Because they look like cowboys and look super. She sick. also comes with a beautiful, uh, a beautiful uh, jetpack here. Just it's love the blue and the gray. It kind of reminds me of R two D two, giving me a lot of classical Star Wars vibes. Uh, this is like a really small jetpack. And it looks really nice uh, for the figure. Um, it actually looks kind of brighter off camera. You know, it looks kind of darker off camera, kind of dull. And it's a really cool gunmetal gray. Nice little sculpt there. Uh, she actually does come with a gorgeous helmet. I love this. It really reminds me of her hair right now. Um, this is a crimson, like, I don't know, it's not crimson, but it's this royal blue and like navy on the sides of the Mandalorian helmet. Uh, this helmet looks awesome. I love the sculpting all around this helmet. It looks awesome. I'm hoping Lego can actually make this helmet because 
It is fresh. It's really cool. We got a little nice indent and some scratches. It it looks gorgeous, guys. Absolutely, absolutely, Hasbro killed this right there. Amazing, amazing work by Hasbro. Even though this figure may be reused to Bogotan, it looks. With awesome. that being said, now let's take a closer look at Sasha Banks, and holy cow. She actually looks just like Sasha Banks. I'm not kidding. This head sculpt is on par to what the boss looks like on camp on WWE, like on SmackDown or on TV. Looks awesome. The head sculpt looks really good. I got a little paint smudge right here. Uh, right there. Oh, I think I got it off. Yeah, it's off. Uh, on this side, it looks awesome. Uh, her hair looks really good. She got some beautiful, like, Braided ponytail uh, as care. Kind of like uh, Princess Leia. That's Pop Me Out Madala. Uh, hair looks awesome. Really, really well sculpted, guys. Love, love the braids. And yeah, this looks exactly like Sasha. I definitely do a comparison with this in a minute. Uh, but it looks awesome. Uh, going down, she has a beautiful chest plate right here. Love the silver and the dark blue. Really gives this figure some contrast. On the side, you got the uh, her logo. Uh, her logo, which I need, uh, yeah, the Costco logo, something like that from the Costco clan. Uh, looks really cool from her cl uh, clan logo on both sides. I think it's more of like Night Watch or Death Watch, you know, Death Watch right there. She works alongside uh, Boca Uh, this you got a little piece of the jetpack, nice blue, blue. And she only comes with this one gun holster, which is kind of weird because on Boca Don, she comes with two. Maybe she's still earning that piece of armor. You never know. Uh, uh, lower down, just playing uh, gunmetal gray legs, and some amazing dirty dark blue uh, knee pads and shin pads, and then she actually has uh, some beautiful uh, brown and gold uh, boots on there. Yeah, that's really cool. That's got a really nice silver detail right there on the helmet, which is really cool. So yeah, now I'm going to do the articulation segment of uh, Bogotan, not Bogotan, Casca Reeves. We do the articulation of Casca Reeves. And, uh, yes, so yeah, then I'm do some comparisons, I load her up, and give you the final verdict on the figure. Also, some people may be uh, wondering how to actually load up your figures. If you don't have any other Mandalorian figures in your collection, you don't know how the jetpack works, it's pretty simple. Uh, what you're going to do, I just want to show you before I do the articulation, I'll do that after the articulation, show you how to load it up, and then I'll show you the articulation with the things loaded up. So, yeah. Okay. So Sasha Banks' can, uh, head can move up this much, guys. It moves down this much. Holy cow, just cracked that right there. <laughs> it was fresh. Then it looks side to side. Look up. Look down. You got a really nice range on that head. It's kind of loose. She's almost really nice, like a normal axis figure. Her arms move up this much, guys. She's on a diaphragm joint. I like that. She has some beautiful range on these arms. These are kind of loose. They go all 360. But uh, she actually has... Double joint, it has single jointed elbows. I think it's double, it feels like double jointed, but single jointed elbows there, which is kind of unfortunate because the legit boss needs double jointed elbows. I think it's double jointed, I could be wrong. Uh, her legs move up this much, guys, uh, like this. Uh, she has double jointed knees, love that range on those knees, people. That range looks awesome. Uh, she her, has beautiful ankle pivot, and yeah, that's pretty much the rundown of Sasha Banks' articulation. Uh, now I'm honestly going to put the helmet on and then show you what she looks like loaded up. So putting the helmet on is pretty simple. You just want to get that on there. It's a little a little tricky, but once you do, it got there. And then some articulation is actually on the range finder, which can actually move it down. If you really wish to do that, you could. Um, so be careful taking it off because you don't want to get the paint chipping. I just was uh, with swivel and I crunch forward and I crunch back. Check them about this much, move this forward like this. Yeah. Uh, adding the jetpack, it's really simple, guys. All you gotta do uh, for the legit, legit boss, you gotta add this. Uh, jetpack just plugs in like this. Uh, plug it in, match the shape, and you, voila, plugged it in. Looking amazing. So that's the jetpack onto the figure. So the, the, you actually get some full range on that. And the helmet, you can do the same thing. Look up this much. I should look down. I should look side to side with their helmet on. So yeah. Now guys, I'm going to load her up. And I'll give you some... Uh, I'll load her up to uh, add the guns to the figure. And then I'll show you um, what it looks like with other figures I have. Including the Tasha Banks. So here is Costco Reeve standing next to uh, her companion, Bo Katan. They look so sick together. I just love the contrast between Bo and uh, Costco right there, it looks super sick. 
absolutely love this pose for the figure. I might have to utilize this figure uh, pose like this, but it looks super sick uh, side by side. Absolutely, uh, Hasbro killed this thing. Look how cool that is. Super oh, sick. Oscar Reeves next to the Mandalorian. Looking super cool. I love these guys side by side. Looks really cool. Finally got Mando, got another friend to hang out with, you know. We got Sasha Banks on his side, helping him kick butt with Grogu. Yes, what a great combination there, folks. What a great combination. Great tag team, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, mixed tag team. Uh, next up, guys, I'm going to show you guys what she looks like with the legit boss. Okay, guys, looking thing. side by side, these figures actually look alike. I think Hasbro's uh, Sasha Banks figure actually looks just like Sasha Banks. Like, I had Sasha Banks theme song playing numerous times in this video. And she actually just looks just alike, uh, just alike Sasha Banks. And Hasbro really killed this figure. And comparing to her as a wrestling counterpart in a ring gear, yeah, they look really identical, and they did a, a killer job uh, with this figure. It is super sick, you know? This figure has so much, like, fun you can actually pose around this thing with. So many really cool poses uh, you can do uh, with Sasha Banks, but this thing, yeah, they look, look alike a lot. Okay, with that being said, guys, this figure has been a fun figure. This is one of my favorite figures I have in my collection just because I love Sasha Banks. Like I said this numerous times. But this figure has so many really fun posing opportunities like putting the gun back in the holster. That'd be like a really sick shot for photography which I'm going to do uh, here in a little bit because this thing looks sick. Uh, there's so many great photography usage with this figure and she actually can fight alongside your stormtroopers and Mando and all Mando's buddies, it, it looks super fun. Like, this thing is super fun, super sick. I just love this thing. On camera, it looks way darker in person. It just looks super cool. And with that being said, I'm out of here. And hopefully you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And please like and subscribe to see more Star Wars Black Series videos like this and other action figure reviews. And stay tuned for more. And thank you guys for watching my Costco Reeves review. Um, this figure is a 10 out of 10 for me, even though it could be reused from Mokotan. Because Mokotan can actually... I think use some of the same poses as Costa Reeves, but other than that, I'm out of here, and thank you guys for watching. See ya. Bye.